Welcome to Make It Take It. I'm DC. Yesterday, Kansas betrayed me at home. BYU took a win off them. And good call, Wayne, with Kentucky. Moneyline Kentucky sweated that one out to the end, but they got it done. I added an NHL play in my comments yesterday and broke up a scoring streak, which I love to do. So I had an NHL win. And in the NBA, I keep it honest here with you guys. You guys know that I, I keep it real. I tell you what, what happens and what doesn't. I forgot to put in my NBA plays somehow. I was talking to you about that the other day, Joe, and I was talking about uh, putting in Evansville. I don't know what's been happening this week. There's plays that I thought I put in that I haven't been. So it's my lack of brain cells that's doing that. But happy birthday, Ike. It's my dad's birthday. So we'll see you soon. Milo's going to want to stop by. Today, college basketball slate, I looked at it, I didn't like anything at first, and I was like, I might skip the day altogether in college basketball. And then when I look in further, I start liking things, and I ended up liking three games, not loving three games, but liking three games. And again, on teasers in college basketball, this is why I say I don't really like teasing basketball. NBA, I mean, and not NBA, NFL, probably 75% of my teasers Worked in my favor where I needed the points and they ended up winning for me. College basketball, it, they almost always split. It's one team doesn't come out, one team does. Just like last night when I money lined Kansas with Texas State. Texas State was a great call. They were up the whole game, never sweat. Kansas ends up spoiling it. We move on to tonight though. The first one, and I went back and forth on a couple of these until I could make sense of it. South Carolina at Texas A&M. Texas a and is one of those teams that are a bubble team everybody's talking about, which I do not agree with. They're 15 and 12, but just because they're an SEC team, they're going to get considered as a bubble team or a first, last four, which instead of putting a really strong Mountain West or AAC team in, they're going to consider teams like them in Maryland and the ones that always get consideration, which, which I hate. But... Texas a and they're saying, needs this win. They need to stay on the bubble. I don't agree. South Carolina has been getting no respect all year, and they're at 22-5. and five. Texas A&M beat them in South Carolina last game. I'm taking South Carolina for revenge. I'll take those five points. And this is a game where I'll talk about a, a teaser later. I'll give you my three main games first. The other one is just completely on the line. West Carolina... Western Carolina has been one of my teams since the beginning of the year. They're one of the three teams this year. It's like every year I have these teams that I'm on that I have a feel for. And they've had a 20-win season so far. And I've been following them. I've been taking them. I've been talking about them. But this line today at home against Furman just doesn't add up to me. It's only a one-and-a-half point line. And Furman is usually in control in this conference, so maybe that's why they're getting lined better. But Western Carolina is having a much better season. They have much better wins. So it scares me on them. I'm taking Furman plus two. Furman's still decent, but they're only three and nine on the road, which tells me there's there's a reason why this line's close. It's kind of like last night when uh, BYU, bad road record going into Kansas, and we saw what happened there, the Kansas betrayal. So I think the same similar thing is going to happen tonight. I'm scooping up Furman plus two points. And then Cal at Colorado. Here's another Cal I just took the other day. They were a no-sense play for me. And they're a team that I said everybody's been waiting for to turn that corner. As soon as I said that, they won three straight. Now they come into Colorado and they're catching 11. But I like Colorado here. Colorado is one of the teams that should be considered a bubble team. 18 win Colorado, way over Texas A&M. So Cal won those three straight. I don't think getting all those points that they're going to hold up with Colorado's offense tonight. So I'm taking Colorado minus the 11. Now I just talked about teasers in college basketball. But if there is a night to tease, I think taking South Carolina up to like 9 or 10 points and Colorado down to six is a really good teaser for tonight. I don't know if I'm doing that one yet. And if I say I'm not, I'm probably going to forget to put it in like I did last night. But South Carolina, Furman, Colorado are my plays. Let me know what you like in the comments. Let me know what you think about my plays. Do you hate them? Do you like them? Are they going to come out? I think they are.
Thank you for watching. Good luck today.